Oh, good day, YouTube. Um, I just wanted to let you know I did end up switching my channel name over to the American Farmer, but you all can still find me under One Broke Farmer because for some reason the darn uh, channel won't show up under the new name yet. It still shows up under One Broke Farmer. But all my videos and stuff are changing over and it's still going through the world wide web sorting out its brains so I'm pretty sure it'll switch over here soon I might have to upload a new video for it to do that I'm trying to get the John Deere started here and then it's mowing back there this thing does this sometimes I don't know why the injection pump just doesn't start or something. I don't know what. You can see, because then it fires right up. I just have to cycle the key again. Being so stupid. Now he's going to come back around there where I'm going. some stuff around the uh, A barn and then I'm going to uh, brush hog the back field so I can get the corn stalks out of it because the deer obliterated that corn field. I mean there was nothing. There was one ear and it was dried up. set you guys up about right here or something I had to work with the tripod this is a good tripod I like it I've had it for about seven years now yeah since I was what eight yeah eight. So, let's start with the office Alright, that's about it. Got all the equipment moved. I can get to the horse trailer now. Now I gotta go get the... I guess I could tow it out with the gator. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. I'll go get... I'm gonna go get the gator. Because it's got a hitch on it. And, uh... It also has the weed whacker so I can whack down all this other extra crap that's in here. So I guess I'll see y'all in a little while. Okay, um, I'm gonna do a voiceover video here. Um, there's the weed whacker and everything. Uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the weather again. It's been, just been so, so dry. Um, really. I mean, we haven't had rain. We haven't had a true, good, hard rain for about, uh, last six to seven weeks it's just been super dry we've only had a couple showers here and there and they really didn't do much they were quickies and so um 
yeah, the uh, the John Deere Gator here, the 825i, it's really a good machine. It's great. It uh, tows, as you can see, I'm going to tow this giant horse trailer out here in a minute. It's not. This isn't a huge horse trailer, but it's still like 3,000 pounds, empty. And uh, it really is a, a, a great machine. And uh, so anybody that's looking to buy this thing, Sure, it's expensive, but it's a good investment. It's a really, really nice machine. Let's see here. I'm going to drag this horse trailer out pretty much no problem in low range. Once I stick it, once you stick that thing in low range, you can. It has a lot of low end torque to it. But uh, you see here uh, in a little bit. So here I'm uh, brush hogging, and. Uh, you can just see how windy it is. It was a really windy day today. Um, and uh, I'm going around the edge of this field. Uh, that John Deere, the 4300, really been a great tractor for as long as, uh, for when Dad just used it for mowing the pastures, and now that I'm using it for pretty much everything. It's a, it's a great tractor. It's a decent amount of power for running the implements that we have. I um, uh, haven't had too many major problems with it. The only major teardown that we had to do on it was when we had some fuel lines rot out and start leaking and they were underneath the, get, the fuel tank and uh, Dad had to tear the, uh, he had to take the steering column apart and some other components just to get the fuel tank out so that he could uh, replace the lines. Of course, this is before I did any of the work on the equipment. So, uh, and now it's got a couple tiny hydraulic leaks that I have to address. And uh, you can see I'm mowing over the corn field now. Um, the corn field just got obliterated this year by the deer. And I'm checking. One of the bigger, the biggest corn plant, because it has a green ear on it yet. And uh, you'll see here in a little bit, I mow up around it, because that's the only corn plant I left standing. I mulched the rest of them with the brush hog. So, uh, yeah. What else can I talk about here? I'm going to talk about a bunch of stuff here in the next clip when I'm done brush hogging about what I'm going to do this field. There is going to be hay going back here and it's I'm just going to spin orchard grass on because it's the uh, most uh, cost effective, um, most cost efficient um, crop of hay I think I can put down at this point because the uh, it's about eight, it's about ninety dollars for a fifty pound bag of seed and uh, I get a I usually recover that on first crop, so, alright, I guess that's enough of me uh, talking about this, uh, and uh, I'm going to be uh, talking myself, so here you go. Yeah. Well, got it done. Um, I mulched all the corn down. Because you can see the deer just lunched on it. This is a piece of what would have been one of the ears, but the deer lunched it. The deer just hammed on this field, so I chopped it all down. Except for that stalk over there, it still has one green ear on it that I'm hoping is going to ripen up. But got it done. You can see the trees I have to take down. I got to take down this oak, those two sycamore trunks, and this oak. There's a couple of little gum trees in there, but I'm not going to do that till this winter. Maybe. I might start work on it here soon. But then, uh, or I could yank it out and get it planted this, this uh, in late fall. That'll depend on if I can chop these trees, rip the stumps out, work it all, and work it all under. Because there's a stump there too that I have to rip out. 
a few stumps. There's a stump there because there was uh, another oak tree right there. But there was also a, another stump over here and there's some brush over here that I have to take care of yet. As you can see, there's some brush here that I had from a tree I, we cut down last fall or last winter. The stump of it's right there. So, yeah, I gotta clear all that out, all the tree debris and stuff, and then I'm gonna till all this under and uh, put hay down here. Cause this just, uh, the corn grew okay. Oh, here's an ear. Oh, this is the one I chucked over here the other day. You see it made pretty good ears, but they all dried out. The ones that were there were dry. The ones that, all the ears that were there were like these. They were dry as lucky farts. And, uh... But there was, there, this corn stalk here, this is a, the girthiest one out of the bunch. It's, it's uh, got this big round. And this ear is in the process of developing. This one's almost developed. I want to give it some more time now. I want to let it turn completely brown before I uh, chop it down with uh, either the mulch it either with the tiller or the bush hog. But there's a lot of work to be done to this field this winter. So uh, that's about it for this video. Make sure to subscribe and probably catch you tomorrow or sometime because I'll upload this tonight so yeah I'll catch you tomorrow and thanks for watching